Hello, this is Green Glass here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a clock. The shite of this. Alright, now here are the uh, materials you need. You need a twisty tie. Scissors, a pen or a pencil, both will work. You can also, um, if you like, grab some markers for four. These are my special favorites. Yeah. And also, you need a piece of paper. I'm gonna help you. paper and I'm gonna rip out a color of the choice. We're gonna do blue after the chip. Cut the clock out and see. It can be an octagon like here, or like you do most clocks, a circle. You can also do a square, but some clocks are square shaped. So it can be either one of those three shapes. Okay. Now I'm going to do a circle for a demonstration here. This will only take a minute. You want to cut a circle with the scissors. Start at the bottom of the paper and cut all the way around. Now you have your clock face right here. Get the paper out of the way. Now lay it down like this. And you can um, label it. Let me show you some previously made clocks. You can do four dots around the edges like this. There's another one over here. You can do numbers. Or just lines around the edge. Or dots around the edge. Or three, six, nine, twelve around the edge and dots for all the numbers. Or just three, six, nine, twelve. Okay. Alright. Now, I'm going to continue right here. Now, with the clock face, what you want to do is if you have other pieces of paper left from previously made clocks, make the hands with that paper. Okay? You'll also need the scissors for this. Now you have your clock. Use the scissors to poke a hole in the center. But that's the only thing you can use the scissors to poke holes for. 
now with any previously baked paper that is not the same color cut out your hands you should have at least a minute an hour hand second hand could be an option but it has to be red but I wouldn't recommend using a second hand it's just not the better thing to cut out your hands you're gonna have a minute hand and an hour hand. Are the hands. The hand should be slightly longer. Now take your pen or pencil. The pencil is too bold, it's not sharp enough. You'll have to sharp it. Now with the pen or pencil. down like this on a table and poke a hole through by like, putting the paper on the bed. You should do this with both hands identical. Make your hole too big like this, it bags your head. You could just fix it with a simple piece of tape. Oh, 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 oh,
this video becomes popular and I hope everybody out there will try making a clock themselves so thank you for watching anyways goodbye thank you for watching